This is Caguas, Puerto Rico. Everybody's watching us right now. Um, we're in Caguas. I'm here in the car with Adam and Charles. Adam's recording right now. Guys, say something. Hey, God bless you guys. People hey. want to see what's going on. So we're in Caguas right now. It looks a lot better uh, because the trees, the leaves are starting to grow back. But if you look a little bit ahead of yourself. I'm going to zoom in a little. If you look up this mountain real carefully, the wind came in at 200 this, miles an hour. Look at the left. Yeah, the wind came in. Look at this mountain here. The wind came in 200 miles an hour and pretty much stripped the trees. They if you look carefully, whoa, like right up here, whoa, you know, whoa. you can see. Wow. Imagine waking up every day and seeing your land like this. It's very sad. Very troubling. The people are resilient, though. They went through a lot. They're tired. But they're resilient, beautiful, hospitable, loving people. And we're super thankful that you've helped us help them. Adam Lavecki here. We're here in Goshen Church in Caguas. Caguas was really affected by Hurricane Maria. The church has become a complete blessing to the community in spite of the roof being ripped off and all the office space in the church being destroyed. The church is being a blessing. They're being the hands and feet of Jesus. We're partnering with Christian Allen Ministries. We see Jesus Ministries, Pastor Charles, King of Kings in this local church, Goshen, and the Goshen Church in Caguas has become like a FEMA disaster relief center, and they're putting all kinds of packages together for families, and we're partnering with them, providing clean water, and the team of young guys is here uh, being a blessing and helping us put together the water filters. So I just wanted to give you kind of a look at that, and also, as you can see here, this is the distribution of food and clean water. This is Adam Lavecki from Caguas, Puerto Rico. I wanted to thank all of our supporters and say that you can still donate at WeSeeJesusMinistries.com. We're probably going to do another trip in November, and uh, the situation here is rough. Uh, millions of people um, still don't have power, and uh, it's a great challenge. And so we're, it's our opportunity now to be a blessing to them. And so I want to encourage you to continue to give, continue to pray, and to continue to be a blessing to the people of Puerto Rico. Thank you to all of our partners, supporters, and friends. We appreciate you.